everyone in this video i'll be solving cambridge a level information technology paper 4 practical for the year march 2021 i'm going to do task 5 which is the web programming all other tasks are done and uploaded you can find the link in the description open booking form trial.html in your browser to inspect the web page so this is the web page which I have loaded here. This is the page. And you should open the page in a text editor. I am using Dreamweaver. So click on open. Booking form try. So this is the page. Insert code to display an alert with the text. We do not accept items weighing more than 5 kg if an entry exceeds 5 kg. So you, if you look at this page, you can see that we'll be entering the data, customer ID here, the date, collection date and the weight of item here. And after that, you'll be clicking on review request. So when you click on this, in case you have entered the value greater than 5 or greater than, what is the value? Greater than 5, yeah, if it's greater than 5, we have to display this error message as an alert. So this will happen when you click on the button. So the button is given here. This is the review request button. So they have defined a function called review on click property goes to a review function. So we have to write the code inside the review function. We have to insert the code here. So first I will store all the variables we are going to use on this page. All the values we are going to give inside these text boxes into three variables. So first one is customer ID. So customer ID will be stored in a variable called variable customer id so c id i am giving equal to the name of that input box is customer id you can see uh, the id of the input box customer id so this is equal to customer id dot value so whatever the user enters in this text box it will be stored into the variable c id here Next, we have the date. So, variable D equal to, I am giving a variable D for the date. Now, since this is a date, we have to declare it as a date object. For that, you have to give new date. Then, the value inside this one, collection date dot value. So, here you have to give collection date dot value this has to be given because otherwise the date will be taken as a text we want it as a date object that's why we are giving this as new date object so it will be converted to date data type next one we have the weight so variable w equal to the name of the input box is weight so I will give weight dot value. So all the values are stored. Next they said insert a code to display an alert with the text. We do not accept items weighing more than 5 kg. So we have to check if W is greater than 5. So if w greater than 5 we have to display an alert message we can give alert the message must be we do not accept items weighing more than 5 kg save the file as booking form Wait followed by your center number and candidate number. Let's save this file. Save as. 
booking form wait followed by your candidate number sender number and candidate number save this now let's open this one and see whether it's working let's enter any value here for the customer id the date and the weight I am giving more than 5, 6 kg I am giving. Click on review request. So you are getting an alert message. So it's working. Next they said, insert code to display an alert. With the text, please complete all the information if any fields are not filled. So if any of these fields are empty or if it's not filled, we have to give the alert message, please complete all information. So I will give if the first field is the customer ID. So if C ID equal to, if it's equal to, in order to check whether it's equal, uh, this is a comparison operator or relational operator, we have to give double equal sign. If it's equal to empty or if it's empty, so we'll give double inverted comma to represent empty cell. Then if it is equal to space or empty, uh, it's, if it's empty or the next one, D equal to empty or or symbol is represented by this W equal to so if any of this is empty, we have to give an alert. Alert. The message is, please complete all the information. So any of them, if you give empty, it will give this message. Please complete all the information. Let's check. It must be saved as booking form fill followed by your center number and candidate number so let's save this file save as booking form fill so instead of wait i'll just change it to fill save this Now let's open it. Let's enter the date here and wait here. But I have left the customer ID empty. Click on review request. You are getting the message. Please complete all the information. So it is working. Now the next part insert code to display an alert with the text we do not accept bookings on a sunday if the date input is a sunday so first we need to get um, we need to know which day it is for that i will declare a variable called day variable day and day equal to d dot we have a function called get day d, d dot get day this function will return integer values from 0 to 6 if it is sunday it will return 0 if it's monday it will return 1 if it's Tuesday, it will be 2, etc. If it's Saturday, it will return 6. So the counting starts from 0. If it's 0, it will be Sunday. If it's 1, it will be Monday. Like that, it goes on. So we need to check whether. So we have given day equal to d dot get day. That means the date you enter uh, dot get day, it will give the integer value of the day which you have selected. So if uh, for Sunday, the integer value return will be 0. So we need to just check whether day equal to 0. So we'll just give that here. 
if day equal to 0 if it's 0 I mean if it's Sunday day equal to 0 means it's Sunday if it's 1 means it's Monday like that so since they have asked you to check whether it's Sunday we are uh, giving 0 we do not accept bookings on a Sunday so alert we do not accept bookings on a Sunday you have to resave this as booking form date so file save as booking form date followed by your center number and candidate number so save this So let's give the customer ID. I will select a Sunday here and the weight I'm giving three. Now click on review request. So it's giving you the error message. We do not accept bookings on a Sunday. Let's select another day and see. I'm selecting a Thursday weight of item 3 so we are not getting any error message so this is also done insert code so that if all fields are completed with valid data the page displays the text the test bookings entries are valid so we have to display the text the test booking entries are valid so for that in order to check we have got any invalid data we will set a variable called error here variable I'm giving a variable name error and setting it to 0 initially it will be 0 now if it uh, if any error is encountered that means if it goes to this condition I will increase the value of error so I'll just give error plus plus that means a error will be increased by 1 if it goes to this condition I'll just give increase the value of error now so if all the data were valid the it will not go to any of these conditions or all these conditions will not be executed that means error will remain as zero so if all the conditions all the input data are valid error va variable will remain as zero so we can use that statement if error equal to zero we have to display so you can write document dot write that is specify any location to give the error message so we can just give a document dot write the message is the test booking entries are valid And it must be saved as booking form complete so file save as booking form 
complete. Save this. Now let's open this. Let's enter valid data for all. We should not enter Sunday here and the weight should be less than 5. So I'll enter 4 here. Click on review request. So you will get the message. The test booking entries are valid. So this is the end of the task. Thank you for now.